Nostalgic Soaring, down our show line from Air Show Lab. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a great big minute walk. Welcome to Dave Macy. Late as he rolls that airplane right on takeoff. Now Dave dives back down to Air Show Right. Extending out here from left to right. Listen to the roar of that big 108 inch long Hamilton scanner propeller as it fights at this Wisconsin air straight up and across the top you can see the sun shining off that polished aluminum propeller as he comes right on around because Dave has been very thoughtful to paint job in this airplane when you see the sunburst design you're looking at the top when you see the checkerboard you're looking at the bottom now as he extends from right down giant stop sign in the sky out here near show center upside down at 300 feet show left, rocking into the aerobatic area once again. Dave brings this big stream out around. Get this airplane designed and built in 1943. This one came off the production line. Original design goes back to about 1937. Now Dave brings that stream right down the show line. Rolling that airplane through the four points. Now the Two to the inverted, three to the night bridge, and four to the exit. Ford starts to slide backwards. He steps on that left runner. About 10,000 of these aircraft were actually built during the World War II time frame. All of these German biplanes were sold brand spanking new to the military services. This particular one went to the United States Army Air Corps. At the end of World War II, the thousands that were still remaining in life were uh, put into sur were sold surplus for prices. I've seen bills of sales on Stearman's running anywhere from $300 to about $800. And that came with a full tank of gas. And uh, what they do then is almost all of these were modified into aerial applicators. That's right, they were the crop dusters of choice from about 1946 up until the late 1970s. surplus of parts. So again, the Stearmans uh, had a reason to exist, and that's why you'll still see so many that are flyable and uh, able to work like they do. It's amazing this particular one we're watching fly here has basically worked constantly for 70 years. I wonder if it's eligible for Social Security right now as it turns 70. If you want to come down our show line here, roll that airplane right down the show line here to an eight-point hesitation roll. Absolutely as pretty as you can ask for it. Right. Now as we watch off 
that right side. Swing around out that right end zone. Give it a teardrop down. Turn around, coming right back at us here from that right end zone. They've been highly modified this year. Bro. elevators to make the airplane perform even nicer in the pitch attitudes. Of course, the inverted fuel system there to make a run while she's upside down. The air show scope. I know uh, one of our air show performers that's with us here today. I know Mr. Bob Davis. How Dave was he was working on building some of the tanks for the airplane back in the late 1970s. As we watch out here off of the air show left, let's watch the cranks around coming right back down our show line in parade review. Dave Dacey out of Harvard, Illinois, in the beautiful Super Sherman. As you watch Dave fly right now, remember later today you'll see Dave do many of these same maneuvers, except he left stuntman wing walker Tony Kazian out on the outside of the airplane. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Dacey in the Super Sherman. Give you a nice view of the Sherman as he just rolls it right down our show line. Five-step stainless steel ladder to the uh, top of the aircraft. 